Hello, French industrialist tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Railroad Tycoon 3. I bet you didn't know you worked for Blue Ankylo Enterprises. <laughs> and welcome back. So, um, yeah, last couple episodes we've laid out a pretty good rail network, and we've mostly, you know, beaten the AI back so that we're in the lead. Uh, if we have a quick look at their income. Uh, last year I made 3.5 million, whereas they made 400, 200, negative. Um, so... I'd say we're doing pretty good. We want to make sure this guy over here doesn't sneak down here or something into this territory. Or uh, this guy up here. I don't think this guy's got much he can do. He has to use my rail basically to get anywhere. So he's not going to make a ton of money. This guy's not so good. He just got stuck in Luxembourg basically. So what I might do soon is try to block this guy off as much as I can. I have sort of the separate route down through uh, Angers and Tours. But he's got the central routes through this stuff. Um, you know, it, it's not a huge problem, but I don't want the AI to catch up. Um, personally, we have to be the number one for stock value. I'm probably going to do it no problem at this rate. You can't buy on margin, so I don't have to worry about going bankrupt. And uh, we're in a pretty good spot so far. Okay. Um, we have a little bit of loans. No big deal. Um, I think... We do need to work on industry quite soon, but I'm thinking of working on a little bit more tracks first. Uh, so let's get this rolling. And I think I'm just going to keep connecting up a few more cities and adding some more trains. So I'd like to connect up these guys because they're pretty small and they're all pretty close together and pretty nice and flat. So this should be quite easy and cheap to connect up. So for that reason, I'm going to do it. And this guy will go to St. Malo. It's also got a port, and ports are good. So this is like our first city that has a sea connection. Maybe we'll be able to get some iron ore off the port at some point. Possibly. It's possible. Okay, Brest... <laughs> Brest is the best place, <laughs> but uh, it's not a very big city just yet. <laughs> it's not very big. Oh, the jokes will never end. Okay, we'll give them a medium size, and we'll give... Oh, I can't quite hit that port. Oh, well. Hit that. If I put it... You know what? I want that port. I'm going to waste the money on the on the large. Just so I know that it's connected. Alright. Then we're going to add... Oh, I am making lots of money. So we're doing pretty solid here. I like seeing all the money coming in. Good. I even got that in the right place this time. Awesome. So we're going to go Rens to Vons. It's probably not going to make a lot of money, but... I think I can afford a couple spare trains that aren't doing a whole lot right now. Uh, just to get the cities growing. So we're not going to worry too much about micro this episode. We're just going to add lots of trains all over the place. That way the AI will never get a chance to sneak in and cause problems. That's my plan anyway. We're also going to double track a little bit here. Like that. Just because the trains will have a little bit of overlap. I probably should double track more of my Paris route because uh, I know both I and the AI are using this quite uh, quite intensively, extensively perhaps. So maybe I'll spend some money to connect up Paris to Chartres. Chartres? Charté! Maybe it's Charté, I don't know. Chartous? That's how you pronounce a word. <laughs> I've said it before. I'm not maybe as good at French as you might expect Canadians to be. I live on the West Coast. For those of you that wonder, West Coast Canadians generally don't meet very many French speaking. East Coasters, oh yeah, all the time. But on the West Coast, there's just not a whole lot of them around. You learn it at school a little bit. But, uh, I don't know. For most of us, most of the people I know, it didn't stick very well. <laughs> Second language. Alright, um, yeah, that looks good. That's That was the busy section. Orleans here might be kind of busy too, this uh, Chartres of Orleans. Although I actually never did make that little... Can I still fit that in? No, I, I put the curve too close. I'd like to do the triple curve because that'd be cool. They look nice. Alright, so those are all connected. we got to connect up these guys next. I think... I think we'll go from Chartres. Chartres. Just like so. 
except we only want to use single track. Okay, and we'll go up to uh, Kane and then to, is that a G? Cherberg? I think it's a C. It's all nice and flat, so adding these in here isn't too expensive, which is the way I like it. Not too expensive. I got actually am making tons of money right now. So I should really start thinking about that industry pretty soon, I think. Alright. Be connected, Cherberg. Welcome to France, Kane. Here, have a maintenance facility, Kane. Because you're a nice guy. I'm a nice guy. We're all nice here. I guess you might want to train too, hey? Alright. No micro, just speedy building train tracks. Alright, I got the most money, or the most, uh, I got the bonus for shipping the most stuff. I got my salary increase, made over 4 million. The AIs are not doing super good. Well, I mean, this guy turned it around. La the year before, he actually lost money, so good job, buddy. You improved a little bit. Alright, so looks like I've connected most of the north. So we now we either have to head south or go industry. Or spend a ton of money and go to Germany. Germany sounds fun, but it is $50 million, so that's not going to work. I wonder, can I do company mergers? No, I don't believe so. I have to just make the most money on my own. Yeah, because normally the merger button is right there. So I can't actually put these guys out of business, oddly enough. I can... I can make them sort of go bankrupt and stop playing if they really go if they really do a horrible job. I think you can kind of kick them out, um, but uh, I don't think I'll be able to ever own their track by buying it. Basically, wow, have I got money? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I've got money that I'm not spending, so let's add hotels everywhere because we are the hotel master. Did I buy? Yeah, I put them in Le Mans. Ongers is growing a little bit, so we'll give them the basics. Just give them a little bit. And Tours is growing a little bit. Good. You can get some food now and some hotels. Uh, you know what? I should probably just have these everywhere. Um, just so that my people know that I'm reliable. You know, like... <laughs> Blue Ankylo, any train you take at Blue Ankylo Enterprise you're guaranteed to have a restaurant at your stop and a hotel. So you can get off at any station that I own and you can guarantee to have a night at a quality uh, hotel. It's a good experience. <laughs> um, we could probably do like a marketing uh, a marketing thing. Okay, those three are just so small, I don't care. Kane though, we'll, we'll give you a stop. If you're big enough to have a hotel, you're big enough to count. If you don't, then your town isn't large enough and you need to uh, do something about it. So um, it's not really my fault, you see. If, uh, if your town doesn't have a hotel, it's your own problem. <laughs> so if you live in Lily, or Little, um, you're cool because you get a hotel. But if you live in like, I don't know, I guess Rames is cool. Is there anywhere that's not cool? Ruin, you know, you're cool enough, Ruin. Rowan. Ro. Raul. I think I said this place is Raul. Uh, you're cool enough to get one, yeah. It's just the little teeny towns like Cherbourg, you know. You guys need to step it up and then you'll have a hotel. And, uh, you know, stuff like that, basically. Tours. Tours has one, of course. And Orleans, I mean, they should have two because they're awesome. All right, let's, let's keep going. <laughs> so, like I said, industry and expansion. I think what I will want to do soon is connect up through here to block out the AI because I wouldn't be surprised if their next connection is Nantes to somewhere down there as soon as they save up the money for it. Um, and I want to get there first. And this guy might try to get to Nancy because Nancy fancy. Something like that. I could also do some more train micromanagement, check out which trains are full. Oh, this guy is not doing good. Where are you going? I obviously forgot something important on this track. Oops. Here you go, my friend. Have some service. It's on blue. Is there any other trains that are dying? Okay, this guy is not very happy. Paris to Orleans. I thought I would have had... I have maintenance there, but I don't think I added... Or I have service, but no maintenance. Okay. Is there anyone else? 
who's really dying. Those were just the only two. Okay. That should cover those problems. I am actually going to add in a double track to Orleans. Bam. So that's interesting. It's technically their track, but I doubled it. I don't know how that works. I, I'm not sure how that works. Spend some money to double that. So kind of like the core area has all double track now. I think that makes sense. Also, I think I'm going to double these tracks up here even more than they already are because uh, because I want to. Oh, that would... Oh, shoot. I forgot about that. This is an old wooden bridge. Bad. Out of here. We want nice new shiny... Oops. We want nice new shiny uh, stone bridges here. Only stone bridges are allowed. Will you build it, please? There we go. It was just having a hard time connecting for some reason. All right. Everything is good. We got a double wide stone bridge. The people are happy. Let's just replace some bridges because I've got money now. And I like having double double stone bridges. I think it's, it's smart. I'm still not 100% sure if this actually uh, makes the AI pay more money to use your tracks. I think it should. That would teach them. You use my track, you're going to pay for it. I, I am wasting a lot of money here. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, folks. This is not the smartest way to play, just adding double track willy-nilly all over the place. But it's the fun way to play. <laughs> I just want to make sure Paris has a little bit more double track around it. Come on, trains. Someone give me some money here so I can double track this last little stretch. There we go. Alright, so that should that should just help stop problems before they start. Because remember, both of those tracks, sort of north and, and east here, are actually AI controlled. So they're trying to get through here to Rames and off to to London. Rames is going to become popular because there's so many trains going there. Got to make it bigger. I, oh, I really wish I could make this city bigger, this place bigger. The paper mill is not making money. Can I actually destroy it? It cost me 550000 to destroy it. It's totally worth it. Do you know how much micro that just saved me? <laughs> sure, I wasted half a million. But now I don't have to remake every single route that goes to Paris, and I can turn it into a large station. <laughs> not optimal. No, no, definitely not optimal, but fast. Hmm... Speaking of houses that shouldn't be, they don't know their place. If you live there, it's your own fault for trying to live right close to a station. There's a hotel. Hotels are for sleeping. Houses are not allowed to be by my train stations. Thank you for the money. Obviously, my board of directors, they're like, Excellent! You spent 500000 to bulldoze a paper mill. Good thinking, Blue! I wish we'd thought of that. They're doing okay. 500, 280, not, not that good. Alright, anywhere else need a bigger station? You already have a big station. Orleans. Oh, right, those. I don't even own those stations, technically. Rene's. You have a teeny station. You could use a big. a medium. You could destroy the sh house right behind you and then have a big station. A medium station. You can have a medium station. Good enough. Who cares about that house? Alright, anyone else need a slightly bigger station while I'm feeling generous? Uh, did I give them big stations up here? Definitely to give gave that guy a big station. And bam. I'm, I'm just such a generous guy. I'm like, yeah, today is the day I give out big stations. Oh, Orleans took out a million in debt. What did they build? Aha! See, I took too long. I was busy playing around and I, uh, I let them get the first jump. They got the jump on me. And they made... Oh, look at these jerks. They, like, built right over my track. <laughs> That's not very cool. That should not be allowed. I... What? It's like... They seriously just... <laughs> they, like, just built it right on top of my tracks. Like, whatever, that guy... Psh. Blue's not gonna care, right? Well, I care. I'm gonna... I'm gonna destroy you. I just want to see what this train does when it gets there. Because I think this is kind of hilarious. <laughs> 
<laughs> and then we're gonna then we're gonna take all those southern uh, cities. We're just gonna follow this guy. We're gonna see what happens when uh, he crashes into a, a, a those tracks. I should also pay off my loans, I suppose. I got lots of money, so we are all in the black, no red. Orleans to Tours to Angels. I probably could double this actually. Now that I'm looking at this, like this guy is full. And maybe I should add uh, a second train to compete with the AI. First, I just want to see if he gets stuck here at Orleans. And then I will double his uh, route. Oh, yeah, you're buying. You're, you're getting some, some water. That's good. Just fill up on water and get a move on. Come on, train. Mail, passengers. Passengers seem to be the main thing. It's like... Is that all there is in France? It's just passengers and mail? It's because of all the hotels and stuff. People like to travel around. Oh, Orleans built another track. Oh, they are going crazy building tracks. And for some reason, we just go right through it like nothing. Oh, well. Okay, so first off, this guy is no longer going to go to Angers. It's just Tours and Orleans. Those two. I'm going to buy another one, and it will. its job is to compete on that side. We got to make sure we're getting all the profits out of here before the AI continues to expand like little cheaters. So that means I'll need a service tower uh, on this side and a maintenance tower. I wish I could have got one like right in there. I'll build it there instead. Okay, so now both trains should be covered. These guys, look at them just expanding like mad. How do I want to get down here? It looks like connecting straight through like that would be smart. And then maybe my own way to Orleans. And Lacroix. Actually, I could do Lacroix like that. Because they all seem like good cities. Yeah, that'll do. Alright, I got loads of money. Nothing to worry about. I'm actually going to start over here because this looks like fun. I probably shouldn't have let the AI get through Chetro first. I knew they were going to do that. I knew it. I'll be cool enough to build a bridge through it, though. We're not going to have a just a, a boring, you know, like you can sort of like cheat your way through like that. We're going to have a proper bridge because I believe in bridges. And then off to Borges, Burges, Burger, Burger Town. And then from there, you got two choices. We can either go to Le Creusot or Orleans. Um, I think. I think one like this. Somewhere around here. And cross. And then the other one to Orleans. Actually, I don't know, because I have to do another bridge to get up there. That might be... Well, the thing is, like, if goods are trying to get from here up to Orleans. That's a long way to go around. Maybe I should do uh, Poitiers to Tours. Poitiers? Something like that. Or Nantes. Actually, let's connect up Nantes. Yeah, let's go Nantes. Let's go the Nantes route. The Nantes Panty. Anti Nanty. And again, we're just going to try to sneak in there. Okay, I'll do that one. And that, that connects stuff up pretty good. Alright. So, we're going to need a fair number of trains to do this all nicely. I think I'll have like one train here. Maybe I should just add a train for each route. Yeah, let's just do that. We're going to actually add a whole bunch of service towers because, like I said, I'm kind of tired of micromanaging now. So we're going to do it the way the AI does it and just put them right in the middle. <laughs> this is this is the cheapest way to play, and by cheap I mean totally inefficient and stupid. Uh, but uh, oh, I forgot the actual stations. I'm not gonna have enough money for all this. Oops. I sort of misjudged the amount of money. I thought I had a million with before I bought any trains. Unfortunately, because of my bridge, it's difficult to connect that one. And there. So now that I've wasted all my money, we're going to have to take a loan to buy our trains. Alright, those guys, those two, whatever they call them. I'm not even going to name my trains anymore at this point. 
it's probably a good idea, but I think it just takes too much time on camera to do that. Maybe what I should do is like between episodes, I should just go through and rename everything so that you guys can figure out what I did easily. Yeah, that's probably a smart thing to do. Oops, more trains. That's one, two, three. We just got cool, cool music to listen to. And one, two, three, four is the next one. Bam, we got one more train to buy. And the last one. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. All right, trains go. I think this is like the last, this is, this is about as much trains as we're gonna get. And I don't have enough money for it. All right, someone just give me a little bit of money. That was the opposite. That was stealing all my money. <laughs> yeah, look at this. They keep building more too. So we, we, I probably should have gone into that a little bit quicker. Dairy processor. That sounds kind of creepy. Process your cows. All right. Sterling, go. All right. So there, we got all our connections done. The only other thing I would do is probably uh, double track a little bit of this so that you can not have trains get stuck so too easily. So wherever there's a city, I'll just do a little bit of double track for when uh, two trains are in at the same time. Yay, I won again! Another another year of victory. We've only got 15 years left, keep in mind, so I can't go... I can't waste too much more time. Here, let me see my ending. For some reason, when you're on very fast, it doesn't like to show you your uh, your financial report. There it is. All right, another huge increase because we're making ridiculous money. The AI, I don't think they could even compete at this point. They're making some, but if I want, if I could merger them, like buy them out, I could do it so easily now, no problems. Spend our money on stock. All right. So, like I said, I could keep buying more uh, train tracks. I think, though, it's time to basically win it. We've got enough company book value for gold. We're actually making enough industry profits just with the hotels to make it alone, basically. Wow. I was expecting we'd have to do some fancy industry stuff. But I think if we just put hotels, restaurants, and taverns everywhere, we'll actually win in a few years just from that. So that's what I'm going to do. Because these things are just reliable. They're just solid. Um, they don't make a lot, but it's not too likely they're going to lose money unless you put them in a really small town. Or a town that just never grows or has no trains. As long as a few trains with passengers goes through, they seem to make good money. So I'm just going to put them even in the small towns now. Uh, I think I've got them almost everywhere, to be honest. Uh, I didn't do like the small ones down here. Okay, yeah, even even these guys are gonna get a, a, a very a variety. Yeah. We like we like our industry. Oh, I forgot to check this. Uh, yeah, this port off. What is this port doing? So the port does give us some coal. These things must just pop up on their own every now and then. So this is like must be like the only place that gets coal on the whole map from what the way I was looking at it. It's still not enough because the steel factory needs iron and I didn't find any iron anywhere. So, I mean, it's possible some places have opened up since I looked last. It's fairly likely to be honest. But uh, I'm not gonna go look around now. Okay. Oh, munitions factory. Are you getting any steel? No, not even close. All right, is that all of my towns? I think everywhere we've got rail, we have uh, hotels and stuff now, I think. Pretty sure. Because that's how blue rolls. We're rolling in the dough, so we're rolling in the hotels. Good. All right, I like that. Um, what else should we do? Industries. Um... We've got enough money. I can even buy like successful industries. My favorite is to buy like a failing industry. I mean, look how expensive that is. But it's going to make like, you know, almost 500,000 a year. So let's just save up and buy that. Or just take out some loans, whatever. Let's 
Seriously? <laughs> I thought I had enough. Misread some numbers there, I guess. Somebody make me some money. The AIs are certainly buying up industry this time more than usual. Anyway, it was very expensive because it's successful. It's a fully upgraded brewery. Obviously, it has lots of access to grain and produces, well, seeing as this is France, let's say wine. So, uh, yeah, that'll that'll be making me some money for sure. Pre well, I say for sure, but I, I have good high hopes. Distillery, what does it do? It turns fruit into alcohol. It's not making as much money, though, so it's cheap. So we buy it for cheap. And then I will upgrade it for however much it costs. Not super cheap. We're just going to be the alcohol performers. So we are already making... This is basically just from hotels. We're making like a million a year in industry profits. So I'd say we're just... Like, we don't even need to buy these things, really. And we're just going to win it. Um, is there a breakdown? Uh, bonds... Out not outstanding. Blah, blah, blah. Haulage. Industry. There we go. So... It's like each one makes just a little teeny bit. Some of them, not so much. It might be that they're new. Yeah, those are they're just breaking even, whatever. Restaurants, so taverns, not so good. Restaurants, some of them are pretty solid. 24,000 a year is really good. Food is working better than alcohol so far. Post offices were kind of a mistake. Hotels, wow, actually that's really good. Okay, so if you're low on money, the main thing you want are hotels and restaurants. Taverns, not so good. Brewery's gonna make me some good money, though. Alright. What else should we buy with our big money? Should I upgrade this thing? It's not really getting enough goods. It needs more fruit. There's a fruit producer right here, so it should be getting fruit eventually. There's also fruit production over here, which should make it up the other way. Because I've got trains, like, it, sh it should get around. It'll probably start making money before long. My s my expectation is that from Le Cresseau, some of this fruit will end up over in Burges and start helping out. A toy factory! What do you guys make? You make toys! That's cool. Turns lumber into toys. And we actually have lumber being produced... Well... It's going overland. Unfortunately, we don't have we can't get to Bonn, so it's it's not that cheap probably to transport it. There's not a whole lot of lumber anywhere near it, so it's a tough one. What else could we buy for uh, industry stuff? Well, first let's pay off our loans. No point having loans really unless for some reason I just really want them. Um paper mill I think well, it is making money, but where is it getting its pulp wood? Pulp wood comes from logging camps. Oh, I guess that makes sense. So every year it just gets one pulp wood from the logging camp. Hard to complain about that. Doesn't really make a whole lot, though. So, like, basically something like a paper mill will always get one pulp wood, but it needs, like, six for maximum paper production. It's probably just not getting enough. It could make money, but it takes... It does require full input. Yeah, we're not going to worry about it, really. We could go buy some more... Well, let's go buy some stuff in Paris. Paris is like our capital. What have we got up here? It's got a barracks that likes to drink. Of course they do. Houses. These are like big houses, too. Commercial building likes paper. Can't really buy most of these. Museums. Oh, one of my trains crashed. There you go. Museum. Is there any... Is there no... There's no industry in Paris exactly. It's just a bunch of stuff that consumes. How this place manages to be such a hub for transport is almost beyond me, but... I mean, it has farms nearby, I suppose. They're making some money. Just buy some farms. It's always good to have grain. Boom times! Doctors recommend more fruit! Weapons factory, yeah, that's not a good idea. Distillery! Fruit. It, there does seem to be a small fruit shortage. 
There's not enough fruit produce. Uh, there are no fruit producers. Oh. There's all. Well, okay, there's a couple. They're all right here. Never mind. When I thought Burgess was going to make money on that distillery, I was silly. There's just not enough um, orchards. I should buy them. They're probably making a killing because they will sell, like, everything. We'll buy all the fruits. We'll have a monopoly on fruit. So that's two. Is there any others? One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, hold on. Bought that one, bought that one, missed this one, okay. So, the way I see it, we own all the fruit in the world, or in France, anyway. Um, <laughs> oh no, there's more down here, okay. Maybe if I want my distillery to work, then I should connect up down to, down this way. You know, let's build some tracks. We'll just leave the game running, we'll build some more tracks. Oh, that's gonna get pretty expensive. Those hills are not very nice. They're just hilly enough to be a pain. Looks like I'm number one again for being the best. Blue Ankylo is amazing. 64,000 a year in salary isn't bad. Five million for the business. The AI is kind of stuck. Actually, wait a second. That guy's not doing too bad. He's turned it around. The Orleans guy. We were crushing him pretty good early, but now he's up to like a fifth of our income. Oh well. I don't think they're going to have a chance of really beating me now. Unless I just stopped playing and somehow they managed to build tracks to the entire world or something. Um, let me see. Do you think we should get to Leon? Or Lion? However you want to say it. Um, let's just do some careful train tracks. Remember last episode at the end when I made that cool river track? And it was like awesome and straight, and it didn't cost me hardly anything. Yeah, I don't want to do that again. It's good practice. Okay, and then from here we'll go. Can we go under to Leon, or do you have to go over? Okay, hold on, back a couple. There should be a way to get a nice little tunnel through here, or not. It's also possible that it's not okay to do that. There's a tunnel. Okay, that's that's what I want. It's pretty expensive, I know. But I value um, nice straight train tracks. I value it very highly. I'll do it. And then from Leon, it's going to go south all the way to Nimes. Because we want that fruit. Give me that fruit. Alright, that'll work. And then we will add a station for Leon. In fact, you can have a large station. All right. Yay, we win. Viva la France. Viva la Blue Ankylo. I didn't even finish what I wanted to do, but still. We obviously, I think I crushed this game. This this episode, we seriously crushed it. I mean, I was as usual. It's that first couple it's that first couple connections. Remember in those days when I just started and I was making like the first route was zero and like 7,000 or something. And I'm like, oh no, I'm going to have to restart. But somehow I took out all the loans and I managed to make a sprawling empire that just did awesome. I want to, I'm just going to play until the end of the year because I want to see how much industry profits we're making in one year now. I'm not even really buying much industry stuff, mostly just hotels, right? But uh, if they're going to make me that much industry money, wow, I should have bought them earlier. Like... We could have had a really quick, easy victory here. I just like being able to build these nice straight tracks by the river. I think that's cool. I think that's fun. Uh, I doesn't want to build that one though. Shoot. Okay, what if I went up here? We just make a little... It's pretty flat. Yeah, once you get through that hill there. So we just got to get through there. And then it'll be nice and cheap. Yay, Southern France! So we're almost at the Mediterranean. We are at the Mediterranean! Woohoo! I just like connecting cities up. It's like one of my favorite parts. We'll add a train. Do, 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 do. I know I won. I just want to connect a couple things up. It like 
This one was like almost too easy, connecting everything up. So now we start getting some fruit going up north. Remember that was the whole point of this, was to get fruit? Produce. So yeah, there's like four... Four fruit farms all fairly near here. Actually, there's a couple over there. Oh, wait, there's... See, I thought those were the only three. I wonder if these just popped up recently. I don't really pay attention to this once we get later on in the game. Oh, well. I still think we did a good job. How's that new train doing? Not much. Whatever. But we got Marseille. We almost made it to Monaco. We're getting close to Spain, even. Like, I think you could have won this game just with this little area, like from Le Mans, Orleans, and Paris. You probably could have just connected that up, bought the industry, and you would have been fine. Like, no problem. Instead, we went all the way up. Actually, that would have been a good little circle, too. But central France, look at those cities. They're just, they're doing so good. I love you guys. <laughs> all right, well, that wraps it up. We got a gold medal anyway. Here's our end of the year report that I wanted to see. Managed to get a massive 7 million a year income. Industry is like 2 million a year in industry. Mostly just from hotels, I think. Although, there was that one brewery, maybe. Let's have a quick look. Um, taverns are doing okay. They pay themselves off, at least. Um, restaurants, a little bit better. And hotels, significantly better. Like, almost... Almost every year, that hotel buys itself. Like, that's pretty solid. And then my fruit orchards are making about as much as a hotel for way more money than to buy it, so whatever. Same with the grain. So farms, not the best investment. I definitely would think hotels first, because they're making about as much money as a hotel for a lot higher purchase price. Now, mind you, this brewery is making tons of money, so maybe finding good profitable industry is the real trick. Because if you can keep this guy going, and that's... I don't think he's even at max. Well, no, he made 13 last year, never mind. He is basically maxing out at 7.30 a year. So, that's the trick. I think I got lucky, because I wasn't really paying attention. I'm just like, oh, this brewery looks good. And then, bam, it's making tons of money. Whereas my distillery over here, if I can find it, this guy, uh, is actually losing money, because it doesn't have enough fruit. That's the main problem. Not enough fruit. So you gotta be careful with your purchases. You can buy them cheap when they don't have access to incoming goods, but you got if you're gonna buy them like that, you gotta make sure you connect them up and get them their goods, and then they'll turn amazing profits. Or, if you're willing to spend a lot, like at my brewery, uh, just buy one that's already profitable. <laughs> but I think you could make a better efficient purchase by, you know, like, for instance, down here. If I was looking at Marseille and be like, hmm, what have they got in Marseille? Uh, fruit orchards, probably cheaper, cheap right now because they're not really selling them much. Uh, where's a, a logging camp? No, where's like a, a secondary production? There's got to be something down here to show my example. Lumber mill, actually lumber mill would work. So for instance, before I connected Nimes, if this thing was like not making money, which it actually is, like textiles, so this is perfect. Before I got here, like right now, I can buy it for cheap, 750 right? Um, it doesn't even tell you what it needs. Maybe never mind. I thought it would show you what it needs. <laughs> oh well, you guys know what I mean, right? You, you look at one that's not doing good, like the steel mill. You buy it while it's cheap, comparatively. And then you make sure it gets its goods, and it'll suddenly make a huge profit for a lot, not a lot of money. Anyway, good enough. We win. Huzzah. Thanks for watching, folks. We're almost done the second set. I think we're off to Asia next. So hope you've enjoyed, and have a great day.